Hello, welcome to this video. Today we will see how to use MX of Excel to create quizzes for exam. Uh, this is the sheet and I am selecting all the cells. So I'm pressing Ctrl A. A simple worksheet. Mm. <coughs> I have selected all the cell and I'm changing this color. So students cannot recognize that this easily that is a sheet and there's cells because the cells can may may confuse them. And then I'm writing some questions. A option B and C. This is the question you can type question number one. It may be your headings. <coughs> mm. We have same type of questions and all over the cells. I'm copying this and paste this. And sometimes you will type different questions. And uh, for the places for answer, I'm, go I'm gonna highlight this select this then press control any other place where you want to put the answers you want the students to put the answer I select three places I have three questions in the exam and I'm changing this color to white so now students will ca students can easily see that there's a, sp a special place for the for the answer they, can, they will not type in any other way uh, in Microsoft Word, some of the uh, uh, professors use Microsoft Word to uh, take tests, to give tests, and it becomes sometimes messy because students, when this type anywhere, the other text moves, so it becomes messy. So because of this, students will not write any other place. To make it more secure, students will not mess this up you can do another thing mm, select the cells with the control I what I do and uh, I select the first cell of uh, of the other sh the answer should be then press control and click all other places where the answer will be uh, placed and after doing this I'm going to this button or you can press control 1 when you press this button this dialog box will appear go to the protection and unprotect these cells ok press ok go to review tab and click protect workbook If they ask for a password, don't give it. If you give, then you need to remember this. So the, now the whole sheet and workbook is secure. A student will not write any other place. Oops, sorry. So, um, click on the protect sheet don't give it password to it mm. and now student is unable to write any other place in the sheet when you try to write this I uh, tried to write A th it start giving this message the cell chart you're trying to change protected so student will not write any other place rather than this because this is unprotected we did it we make it unprotected so I, if I write over here allow me to write I cannot write any other place you can allow him to write a paragraph if you want to allow him a paragraph then select the space mm. go to the home tab it's, uh, uh, the all options are disabled because the sheet is protected so I'm going to do the sheet make it unprotected then 
home tab make this white and making this the single cell so student can uh, write easily so I'm merging all the small cells so selecting all the cells merge in center and I don't want the students to write in the center so what I want to do I want the cursor over here so this select this big cell left and up top so when a student write it will start from here so if we write a paragraph it will go this way if you want to uh, make text in this paragraph not out of this then what you need to do select this paragraph and warp text now whenever a student write in this paragraph write the paragraph it will not go uh, beyond the limits it will be over here so give them the space that they, they can write easily so I'm gonna unprotect this cell too uh, this the cell uh, I select the cell all the cell I selected and then the very down so should be then go to the protection unlock the cell uh, then mm, go to the review protect sheet okay now student can write in this but they cannot write any other where any other place this is the question sheet and the answer sheet now how can you check your answers uh, check the quizzes automatically so this is a solution there in all our all of our excel workbooks we have by default three sheets so what i did i double click on the sheet I double click on the sheet and I changed this name I write Q it means the question page in which the student will type the answers and this is the sheet where the answers will show automatically what I'm gonna do uh, Q number it means number of questions one um fill series it, for example we have eight questions in the exams uh, and you want this is the uh, answers given by the students it will automat it will can automatically display over here so how can you do it go to the cushion tab select the cell every answer cell select first the first cell copy the cell paste it over here paste link uh, do the same for all of the um, answers now copy this cell then paste it over here you don't need to do it every time when you make quiz once you make the, this file this file be your model file this file will be your uh, format then you will use it for different equations what you will do when you are gonna make different quiz uh, you will be you will open this uh, file and protect the sheet and write different questions you will not do select these cells they are automatically selected they are unlocked and then they are pasted over here they are linked over here there no need to link them again and again so uh, what this link cell how this link cell work oops uh, what happened if I write anything the student will write B then and C in that 
these will display automatically over here you see I didn't change it and if you change this for example he, he write he wrote again a then the in the answer sheet it will be a automatically what happened this is the file which you put on your content in D2L as soon as we'll open this file this uh, first sheet is in front of him he will not see the answer sheet it will be locked totally locked and protected so soon we're not gonna change these things their answer whatever they type you don't need to see what's the wha what they are typing over here y you what when they submit this file in the Dropbox you go you should you need to go to the answer sheet and see what they typed and this is the students answer then oops this is the sheet protected now so I need to unprotect it first then actual answers where the was the actual answers is then you will type for example a is the actual but uh, c is not the correct answer then d for example so you can change the color students for th it will show that these are different students mm. the home or don't change it if you want to don't change them change their color whatever formatting you can understand marks uh, you can say correct over here we're gonna put a formula uh, the formula will be I wrote some of the answers by myself uh, they will come automatically from the question sheet over here and these are the answers which you these are the actual answers and you put by yourself so you can uh, um, match these answers and want uh, to know how many of them correct automatically. So we are going to uh, apply formula, select the cell where I, where I want the formula and go to the formula tab, go to the logical and then F. Then the logical test will be F, uh, is F, A, and this one is equal to is equal to sign then click on this one if it's true then if it's true then what do you do it will place one if it's true and zero if it's not okay to see it's true so it put one now I'm gonna paste the formula in all of the cells this will do it automatically check your quiz so this is the answers this is correct this is not correct and this is not correct not correct this two are correct so what the total are uh, total corrects are the sum go to the auto sum click this button and then click here this will select these all press enter the total three are correct um, you know mm, what total marks uh, if you, the total marks is different from the total answer correct so for example uh, all of the answers worth two points then uh, if you're gonna put a formula select the cell press is equal to is equal to G13 this is the cell address G13 multiply by uh, G13 multiply by 2 if the all of the answers have the same worth 2 then you will apply this formula 
then the total marks is 6 and this is the real result sheet you have answers if you have the paragraph you can paste the paragraph over here you can read the paragraph you can add its marks by yourself for example I love the mm, uh, which, uh, uh, true false and uh, choi diff uh, multiple choice answers are over here and but you don't have uh, the marks for the paragraph read the paragraph it over here and you when you paste it then give it the marks by yourself for example two marks it's not in the formula so we should have in the formula to edit the formula uh, select the cell go to the formula bar click between this when you click it you will see the selection over here drag the selection to wherever you want and then press enter so the total like correct total character 5 now and total marks are this this is for the for example paragraph you can write is for example here is a paragraph something students wrote it over here and you think oh this is correct deal marks then this is the sun sheet you can also n uh, paste their names if you ask their name over here for example a student's name is here copy the cell from here and then paste the name with the link then you will see uh, a student name over here and it will be automatic uh, a sh mark sheet for this one if you don't want to print or something or you, you don't want uh, to waste your time to um, make the answer sheet or save the record by manually you can it is a tool through, through which you can save this whole uh, sheet for every student what you need to do if you want to send them their marks um, by email or uh, you on and you're not going to send them this file then go to the start menu type here a snip go to the snipping tool this is the snipping tool snipping tool uh, give you uh, opportunity to uh, take a picture of anything which is available on your screen so this is the uh, plus sign this mean you can for example from here I'm taking this picture now this is the students mark sheet on a stepping tool save it in somewhere with the student name or whatever so, so this is uh, in this way you can make every uh, mark sheet for every student and this way you can use excel there's no need to uh, there is no need to make file every time f this is the first time you made the file make it as a format save it whenever you want another quiz go to your answers and unpro protect your sheet and protect your sheet change the questions left uh, the answer place empty and then uh, again select all the sheet uh, then again after changes protect your sheet your cells are already unlocked so you don't need to do it every time you just need to unprotect sheet and then protect sheet the sheet is not now again protected the all of your answers are linked they will come automatically over here the sheet is this sheet should be protected when you're going to send it to the student and the formulas are in the place you need to you don't need to put formulas every time so this is where you can check your questions and make your question sheet thank you watch my videos at agevents.webs.com website you can oops this is protected so you can ask different questions if you need more solutions it's not visible for you i have more ideas i can give you thanks for watching this video